Oh, it's been such a long time since you did that. It is such a joy in the truest sense of the word joy to be with you this morning for this very special edition and big return of the Coffee at 11 show. So without any further delay, I'm only delighted to hand over to Mr. Smith, your Celtic warrior Buddhist monk. Thank you, Eamon. Thanks very much, Ellie. Good morning, everybody. Great to, great to be back. I invite you all just to stop exactly as you are and just make sure that you're, you're seated, back straight, nice and comfortable, feet on the ground so you won't float away and just close your eyes and take a nice deep breath in. And I'd like you just to, if possible, place your hands on your lap, facing upwards and breathe in for a count of five, four, three, two, one. And breathe out for a count of five, four, three, two, one. And just gently continue this cycle of breath, allowing yourself to fall gently into a very peaceful state. Breathing in for a count of five, breathing out for a count of five. Let your thoughts come and go, don't judge them. And as you breathe, I want you to just, just see yourself standing at the edge of a bridge about to step onto it. Your bridge can be low to the ground or high off the ground. Behind you is the shadowy cloud of darkness, the past. And you can sense this darkness represents fears, perceptions, the past. But as you look in front of you, look way out ahead over the bridge, you see this beautiful, bright, brilliant, glimmering light, which has an energetic pull drawing you towards it. And as you take a deep breath in and release this breath and imagine yourself stepping onto the bridge, stepping forward, moving forward to the light, breathing in and breathing out with each step. And as you get closer and closer to the edge of the bridge, you begin to notice the shadows on the past disappearing. You can no longer see them behind you. Keep taking deep breath in. This is receiving the light and hold it for a moment. And on the out breath, you're sharing this light, sharing this love. And you can imagine now you've reached the other side of the bridge, stepping off the bridge and into this world of light. All you see is light around you. In this light, you are not your body. You are free. You are an energy field of love and light, powerful, peaceful, supported, loved. Give yourself permission to stand in this life for a moment. And as we prepare ourselves to come back into the room, you can offer this silent prayer, repeating after me in your mind, miracles are seen in life. I choose to see in life and I choose to bring light with me wherever I go. And in your own time, take a deep breath and slowly, gently open your eyes and come back into the room. And hold this thought with you today as you go about your day. Today, I bring light with me wherever I go. Namaste. Thank you very much, Eamon. Such a scrumptious way to start the show and indeed a great day to start a Sunday. Thank you very, very much. And without any further delay, <clears throat> I'm only delighted to welcome your wonderful host, Mr. Colm O'Brien, and his conversation with Terry. Thank you. Over to you, Colm. Doesn't the world feel right this morning? Doesn't the world feel right this morning? With Shelley's good morning, good morning. So, I shall start the show, as I always do, or Katrina O'Brien will kill me. Good morning, everybody. You are more than welcome to this, the, uh, a, a special November episode of the Coffee at 11 show, uh, brought to you by Wigwam Business Coaching. Delighted to have you here. You're very welcome. And I'm delighted in particular to welcome my special guest, fabulous young man, Tarek El Masri. Tarek, please say hello and cheers us with your coffee mug. Thank you. Hello. Um, hang on. I've got an actual better coffee mug. Um, it's got a mustache. So 
um, and an aloe vera, but uh, I won't be drinking the aloe vera. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for having me. Um, do you know what? I will clap for your show. It does seem like a really lovely community, and um, I'm very, very glad to be here, and thank you for inviting me, really. Um, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's great to have you here, Tarek. Thank you for that. And uh, we are truthfully using uh, this opportunity as a way of us reconnecting, so you can see the happy uh, faces and you can feel the happy vibe in the cafe today. So it's lovely to, to see you. So, Tarek, I'm going to bring you in for a few questions in a few moments, if that's okay. Before I okay. do... Folks, allow me just uh, tell you a little bit about what I learned about Tarek in recent times. So, name Tarek El Masri. Uh, business name, it's not really a business, it's a movement, Movember at UL. And what does it do? It raises funds and awareness for the Movember Foundation, a charity that aims to stop men dying young. It's very stark. How long established? Movember was established in 2003, but my campaign says Tarek started only last year. Uh, how many employees? As of Saturday morning, 31 on the team. He's managed to get 31 people around him to help him kick off uh, November UL 2020. Well done, you. Uh, he goes on to say that he's doing his master's in mechanical engineering at the University of Limerick. He's actively involved with the Subac cl Club and the Economics and Investment Society on campus. But right now, his biggest focus is on changing the face of men's health by supporting this November foundation. He started working on the campaign last year with a few friends, had several events and an amazing team that managed to bring in just on under four and a half grand and working hard this year to bring these events to a digital platform so anyone anywhere can avail of the support and information that's going to be shared. And that's something nobody knows about you. But you're this, this is an interesting one. Two years ago, I was reported as a missing person while traveling around New Zealand. I had no idea until three days later when Interpol <laughs> finally got through to me. Lovely, lovely, lovely. There's always a backstory. There's always one. Your poor mother. Yeah. Um, oh, God, mother. yeah. Oh, I, I actually feel sorry for my friend because the New Zealand police called her. Sorry, this is a very dark way to start it off. But my, um, I was traveling with a friend. We, we've gone to New Zealand together, but we went part of our own ways. And um, the New Zealand police found her and they like went to her and they were like, you need to find a photo of him to like put on the middle carton essentially as like a missing persons report. And like, so she just had a really grim conversation with like our friend group being like, what's the best photo? And so meanwhile, I was just out in the middle of the countryside, like where there was, cause half of New Zealand has no signal. And I was just out in the middle of nowhere with no signal, just enjoying life. And meanwhile, my friends and family were just thinking that I was somewhere in a ditch or something. <laughs> Well, you're the second. Yeah. <laughs> you're the second. You're the second young, as it happens, young guest on the Coffee at Eleven show that had uh, uh, experiences in New Zealand. Uh, you guys might remember young Mark Maxwell, who died on a bus uh, in New Zealand um, on the driver's first day. I'll never forget that piece. The, the poor driver's first day on the job. Tarek, listen, it's lovely to have you here in the cafe. I'm going to ask you a handful of questions if you don't mind. We're going to go to Q and A. We're going to go to Q and A from the floor in just a minute to apparently some people's favorite part of the show. Don't know what that's about. We're going to go there in just a few moments, if that's okay. Um, before we do, Tarek, um, what are you taking with you from COVID? From COVID? Um, good question. Uh, I think the biggest thing that I'm taking from COVID is the importance of actually, like, not just, like, reaching out to friends, but, like, actively engaging when you communicate with your friends so you know like i i'm I, i'd regularly meet my friends and it would be like the most nonsensical meeting and sometimes that's just lovely but it's so important especially now more than ever to actually have these substantial conversations and to continuously check in with your friends and your family and just even the neighbor and uh, just to make sure that they're okay and i know that like times are tough and it's kind of hard to do that physically so like there's such an importance of really just making sure to check in on people and that's one of the, the fundamental aspects of november as well is you know there's a system called alec which is ask um listen um engage and uh, check in and um so like you ask the person how they're doing you um, check in with them afterwards you engage with them and see how they like going to seek further help and then you check in with them afterwards to see how the progress is going and you know that that is such a, a thing that really is so important right now in covid and that's going to be one of the things that i'm trying going to try and hit home at, during my own motox um yeah I, I think that's my biggest takeaway from covid like the importance of maintaining those relationships that you've put so much time in building um over the years 
Wonderful stuff. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Uh, thank you indeed, Tarek.